Welcome to the DPO Group Equid tutorial video. To get started, go to the App Market and type in DPO. Click on the DPO Group app and then click Install. This will take you to the DPO Group settings page. The DPO Group settings page has a lot of options. This is because at the time of recording, DPO Store 1 is also run on the Equid platform. DPO Store 2 runs on a different platform. I'll go over the primary functions and demonstrate a basic transaction, and then we will broadly discuss the more advanced settings. Should you require more information, the DPO support team will be more than happy to assist. To get started, choose your DPO Store type. By default, you should be on Equid, but if you are on DPO Store or DPO Card, those options would then be available to you. Enter your company token and your provider token as provided to you by DPO and make sure that test mode is deactivated. To get started, enter your company token. We will run through the basic setup for basic transactions and then a high level overview of some of the more advanced settings which are more applicable to the DPO Store environment. Make sure you enter your company token, select your store type, if Equid, and make sure that test mode is disabled. Under advanced settings, you might want to configure some services. For instance, here are some potential test products and test services. Or you might want to configure an SKU with this particular service type ID. Please use the service type ID applicable to your industry as supplied by the DPO team. To remove an item, simply select one of the columns on the left and clear it out. And to add an item, type in your numbers and a description. If you have specific SKUs that are in a different service type or a different industry, you can enter them here. You can enter a custom return URL if your store is embedded, you're on the DPO store, or you want to return to a different end URL. You can also change your API URL and your pay URL if instructed by the DPO team. You can enable your DPO transaction reference to your private admin notes. If this is unchecked, by default it should be checked. Under delivery settings, you can configure your delivery information. So if you'd like a map to show, you'd enter your API key here. You'll also need an API key below for geocoding if you use a service provider such as Sendy or Bolt. If you are on Sendy, select Sendy, and if you're on Bolt, select Bolt, and enter your other details which are applicable to these services. If you're not using these shipping services, simply ignore this section. If instructed to use delivery allocation fields, you can enter that information here. When configuring delivery information, you may wish to add hubs and branches. Here are some example hubs and branches. To add a new one, start typing on the new line. And to remove a hub, you can simply remove it like so. You can also change your in-store pickup text and your branches configuration. This is an advanced setting that is only applicable to some setups. Another way to set up your display would be hubs. You could select branches or hubs and your branches and hubs will show accordingly. You might want to have your pickups with a hub selection and your regular delivery with your branches selection. We're not going to enable that setting by default. It's a very specific setup. In fact, we are not going to really use any of these custom delivery settings. For the most basic setup, we simply need to make sure that we have a service type ID and a basic description. If using the shipping options, please make sure to enable the DPO Group app under the shipping and delivery section. Otherwise, you might want to turn this off. Let's look at a basic transaction. To check out, click Go to Payment. This will redirect to the DPO payment page. 
Here you can enter your card details or select another payment method. Click the pay button. And your payment is successful. That's all there is to it.